Welcome back. Now, prepare to feel inadequate. Our next guest mm -hmm. has released her second novel at the grand old age of 17. Which is why Galway woman Eilish Barrett has been asked to speak at Zeminar next month, the youth, <coughs> wellness and education event at the RDS in Dublin. Eilish joins us along with Damien Clark, the CEO of Zeminar, which we'll find out more about in a moment. Good morning to you both. Good morning, both. Good morning. How are we? Eilish, two books, Oasis and now Genesis, mm -hmm. both published. Can we talk about the story, first of all, for anyone who isn't familiar with Oasis? Because this is not necessarily a straightforward tale that a 17 year old or maybe a typical 17 year old might put down on paper yeah so basically the idea of oasis is um it's set in the future and it's after this deadly virus has wiped out most of humanity and the last of the survivors wall themselves up inside this one specific city okay and they're the last ones who are pure and uh, it becomes this kind of utopia and that's the idea, and that's why it was named Oasis. And over time, they find that there's a genetic trait that could restart the virus, and it's in half the population. So they're segregated into two parts. And uh, Quincy, who is our main character, mm -hmm. she is one of the people with this genetic trait. And basically, at any minute, she could, or any one of the other people who have that trait, could uh, restart the virus that almost killed off. This is Quincy Emerson, who's your Quincy lead Emerson. character. She's the protagonist, yes. Who I'll be playing in the movie, clearly. <laughs> I'm not so sure you no, fit the I bill. Don't think so. And the, the, the second book, it's a sequel to it. It's a sequel, so. and it's it, that's the finish of the series. So it's a duology, which is a kind of a new concept. But uh, yeah, it's just a two book series. Incredible. Just a two book series. Just two. Yeah. Yeah. No big deal. Um, the love of writing. Where did that come from? Where did it start? I think it came. I think stories are just something that everyone has naturally and I think it just depends on how that kind of manifests itself. I started writing very young. When I was 12 I decided that I wanted to be an author. That was the career that I at wanted. 12. At 12. And then at 12 that was kind of when I started structuring myself. So I started, you know, I had goals set out for how many words I wanted to write a day, how many books I wanted to do. Like I have, I've written a book a year since I was 12. Wow. So not now, interestingly, Eilish, you were homeschooled. I was. So was that more conducive to what you wanted I, to do? I, I can't imagine having done what I have done without being homeschooled. Like the way that we uh, structured it was that um, Oh, there's me and my three brothers and we just get to do whatever we're passionate about. We get to put all of our time and our resources and our energy into that. And I think what ends up happening is is we become very advanced in what we're interested in very quickly because there's nothing else distracting us. So mm -hmm. honestly, well, don't think it. was clearly structured very well because you're doing your school work alongside it. I, I'm not doing it the way that people traditionally, traditionally yeah, people yeah. would think like I'm not doing my leave insert. I'm 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 actually 18 since July and um now that the two books are done, like I still want to keep writing and everything, but I'm actually, I spend my time kind of playing piano, writing books. Uh, I'm learning Korean. I'm moving to Korea in November, actually. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, I don't think I could find Korea on a map when I was 18. I'd love to go to it. So, so it's very, it's, it's not what people are used to, I guess, the way that we educate ourselves. But it's, it's really been fantastic for, for me and my three brothers. Like, and who has been teaching you at home, Eilish? It's, it's kind of self-led. It's like my mother is there to, if I need, if I need books, if I need to go to a class, if I need to take a course, if I need whatever, she's there to facilitate that. But we get to decide what we do with our time and it makes us very self-motivated. Mm -hmm. No one, no one will come in and tell me what to do. So if I wasn't telling myself what to do, I wouldn't do anything all day, <laughs> which wow. clearly isn't really the case. But, but, Absolutely. But are there rules? You know, does your mother... No setting fire to the house. That's, the <laughs> that's a good rule. That's a, we have that one as well at home. That's yeah. a strong one. Yeah. But does your mother oversee it, or is she just there in a supportive role? She like she is there. I guess I think <clears throat> people would see the relationship almost like it's more a mature relationship. The way that people would have a relationship with their parents when they're older. So like we, she would be great for advice, and we we, we talk to each other a lot. Mm. Um, we're very cl we're very close knit family. But at the end of the day, it's our lives, and she's always had, you know, the thought that it's not her place to tell us what we should be doing. You defined it yourself. Exactly. Damien, on to Zeminar. Yes. 
Uh, you are the CEO of the event. Tell us what is the event. Yeah. It's, tell us about its structure and who sure. it's aimed at. Who's, okay. who's it for? So Zeminar is a national youth summit for Generation Z, hence the name. It's a play on Seminar okay. and Zeminar. Very good. Um, we have loads of guest speakers there, Gen Zers like Eilish, covering everything from mental health, sports, hobbies, nutrition. We've got names like Blind Boy on board, the O'Donovan Brothers, Sister Stan, Anna Geary. I think Stephen Burns on the show later on. He's yes. doing an hour on internet safety. We cover all of the things that matter in a young person's life. That's on the main stage. In the other part of the space, in the RDS, uh, we've got seven different hubs. Um, as I said, the main feature is well-being. Um, we've 45 to 50 workshops run by the leading mental health and well-being organisations. It's for all young people in Ireland, particularly aged between 15 and 20, but we have adults coming as well. We've uh, lots of different people coming. It's a brilliant event for all young people, so I'd encourage So when does the event on. take place? Is it over a weekend, a couple of days? Yes, so it's October 10th through 12th. That's a Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. And how do people get tickets? Tickets are uh, available online at zeminar.ie. I like the fact that um, it's for teachers, parents, irrespective of academic ability or your socioeconomic background. Yeah. This is something for everyone. So what will your involvement be, Eilish, at the event? Well, I'll just be speaking about kind of how I figured out what I wanted to do with my life and how you go about doing that. I don't think that the concepts that I have for uh, and the concepts that I was taught by my family and everything about finding your path. They're not specific to being an author or, mm. you know, my interests. It's just, it's a way of life, I guess. To... I love the fact that you said what attracts the seminar is that, you know, it just takes one sentence, one word, one moment to inspire. Well, what I always person. say is people know what they want to do. They're just afraid of doing it. And I think a lot of the time people feel like they need permission to go out and take that risk, to, to make that move. And uh, I feel like seminar is like, something like that I think people could turn up and they could go away with that feeling of I can do that thing that I've, I've t felt like I couldn't do or people told me I couldn't do I You've think. been given permission to do exactly. it almost. Exactly, exactly yeah. and the um, tools to do it as well. In terms of the, the duology which has now been part what's next in terms of writing? Are you? I'm working always yeah. on new books um, there's nothing there's nothing coming up yet that I can talk about but uh which I, means I there's something coming which up. Which means there's a movie <laughs> deal. Or, exactly. Yeah, the, it's exactly. the, there's the next level, isn't there? Keep an eye out. Keep an eye out. Wow, there are very exciting. <laughs> Never felt so inadequate. No. Thank you for coming no. in to us this Thank morning. You so much Continued for having you. success. You're very Thank you, Damien. Thanks.